Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. I have an unboxing video for you today. I just got this shipment uh, from Green Spaces ID from Indonesia. Have not ordered from them before. I have ordered um, from an import from Indonesia, but um, not from Green Spaces. So I'm excited to see how these have arrived. So let's get to it. Okay, so a couple of disclaimers before I turn the camera down and we um, open up the boxes. Um, I was sent these six plants from Green Spaces. They reached out to me. We had not worked together before, so they reached out to me and asked if I would um, review some of their plants. I've seen a lot of other plant tubers uh, receive plants from them and they've seemed pretty good my last experience with an import from indonesia another company um was i got like six plants and only one of them is still alive all the other ones died the only one that's still alive is the syngonium albo and that one's doing fabulous by the way but oh, fortunately all the other ones did not make it so i'm very very hopeful <laughs> that these will survive so we'll see now um, you know they do provide the phytosanitary uh, certificate and that's $25 when you order from them another thing that you are charged now that you uh, weren't before that's uh, fairly recent well I think since 2021 is an import tax when it gets to DHL in the United States, DHL will send you a text or an email. I got an email um, stating that there was a $25 import tax. That is new. Um, so that is something you can expect new now as part of your order and take that into consideration when you're ordering as far as what your total is gonna be aside from this, the certification there is at the United States level an import tax, okay? So um, you'll wanna know that, okay? So let me turn the camera down and we'll get going on these, okay? Okay, so hopefully you can see that okay there. And they have this taped up really well. This is another copy of the, it feels moist almost. Thank you for your order. Get 10% off of your purchase, your next purchase. Okay. And they're very well packed. Okay, this is one that they sent me. This is a silver bush. Okay, so it has four leaves. One of them is yellow. That one doesn't look like it's gonna make it. But the other three look really good. Very pretty iridescence on the leaves. Stantherium, silver bush, and Let's just check the roots real quick. I am going to be putting these in water for a little while until they get acclimated. And then I'll pot them up in some nice soil. Big roots. Okay. Lots of nice big roots there. Drop it. Nice and long. This would go good in a nice little four inch pot. It's not huge, so it doesn't need a huge pot, but the roots are nice and light. No brownness to them, they're firm. So that looks really good. 
It's the Anthurium Silver Bush. Okay, now this one I did ask for. This is the Philodendron White Princess. And I do have the prices here. Let me just take a quick look. So the Anthurium Silver Bush that I just showed you was 27 US dollars. The uh, Philodendron White Princess is $60, which I think is a good deal because those are hard to come by here. Let me put tissue in between these. I am a huge lover of variegated plants. Oh, and this one looks really good. Look at that. Now there is a leaf down here. You can see that it's got some yellowing happening. And if anyone goes, that may be the first one. But there's a leaf here that just came out and it's got one already coming out. I'm trying to get it in the camera right there. You see that? So it looks like this one just came out and this one is about to be coming out too. And look at the white variegation on that, that white princess. Now I have a pink princess that's on the struggle bus, about to get off the struggle bus, I think, but this would be nice to put next to that. So let's take a look at the uh, roots on this baby. These. Hold on just a second, let me show you these. So you can tell this was a cutting that was propagated. You see the cut here? But look how nice the growth on that is. Very beautiful color, lots of even aerial roots up here. But the roots on this one look good. They're not mushy. They're the color they should be for this philodendron. Let's get this off. So lots of growth on these. Very beautiful white princess. And this one was, um, like I said, $60. Yeah, $60. Beautiful plant. Now, I had ordered this one before from that other, look how beautiful that is, from the other uh, import company, and it did not look nearly this good when it arrived. It had already like four leaves, three of them were dying, and that plant didn't make it, but this one looks much, much better. Look at this, it's got a leaf that's about to unfurl here. Look at that beautiful. It does have one down here that looks like it's an older leaf that's about to turn yellow, but look how big these are. Now, this one says it's variegated. Well, let me see here. Yeah, Philodendron Ring of Fire variegated. This one was $40 on their website. Beautiful. Bad. Okay. You know, I should always smell it too. <laughs> But look how beautiful this. I have very, very high hopes for this plant because this one looks so much better than the last Ring of Fire that I got. And those roots look wonderful. So that is Philodendron Ring of Fire. Also, which is the Monstera Adansonii Variegated. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here because there's a couple things going on here. We've got six leaves, two of them are yellowing that are gonna die off, so that would leave us four. But the variegation on this is good on the remaining leaves. The uh, shape of them is good. 
So other than that, those look healthy, but we do have two leaves that are going to be dying off here soon, which is fine. Okay, so this was a cutting also. You can see here the cut right there and where it grew. So these are older leaves. You see they're down here. So these yellow ones are older leaves. That's good. Looks like there was a sheath there. But it's got very good roots. Trying to get it focused here. It has very good roots. Lots of them. So the plant itself is perky. See how it, it doesn't um, fold over? It's um, not wilting or anything like that. Which means that, you know, it's still got some moisture in it. I think this is my, my Hoya. I had asked for a Hoya. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, um, what is this? The Hoya Tangamus Red, species Tangamus Red, which I'll be honest with you, I've never even heard of that. But look how long it is. Very nice. This has got a leaf that looks like it's grown kind of curly like. But the, the leaves on this are huge. And look at the veining on that. I'll have to research on this one some because I've never heard of this um, Hoya. Wow. Where's he? Look at those. They're fine, very fine. These need some uh, to be moistened up. So they're gonna be going in water, like I said. This is the, Rosalinda, por favor. Hoya Tengamas Red. That might be some of the red there on the back. Yeah, the back of the leaves, it's got some red. But they're, this would be nice to put on a, on a hoop. Last one down at the bottom. Oh, Painted Lady. I had asked for this too. So the Hoya Tengamas was $27 and this Painted Lady was 24 Look at all these aerial roots. Look at that. Look at all those aerial roots. You can tell it's a cutting, but look at it's growing up, it's vining up. This is right here. This is the last leaf to open right here. But look, you can tell right here that that leaf is getting ready to sprout a new leaf right there. So that's growing really well. That's nice. Now it does have one yellow one way down here at the bottom, so that's an old leaf. Okay. So you can tell right here is where the cutting was. Right there. Nice roots, but like I said, lots of aerial roots, so that's a good sign. This is an old leaf. That's okay. This one too is an old leaf, but the other ones are nice, very nice. Painted Lady, you can see a little bit of red margin on the leaves. Beautiful, very healthy. You can tell they were growing this in some moss because there's still some moss 
on the um, roots, but the roots look in good condition. Maybe it could grow a little bit more substantial, but the fact that it's growing up, giving off new leaves and aerial roots, that's a great, great sign. Beautiful plants. So let me get cleaned up here and I can show them all to you and I'm gonna put them in some water too. Okay, so I put them in water. My son-in-law was kind enough to let me use his Guinness glasses. I've got four of them here because I didn't have any propagation glasses and these are like perfect size. So he was kind enough to let me use them. Now I have them in water that has the elm dirt plant juice in it, the fertilizer, um, which I have a link to that down below. I've been using it for the last couple of months and I absolutely love it. My plants are loving it. So I am um, propagating these or reviving these rather, these roots in the fertilized water with the uh, elm dirt plant juice. But this is the Hoya. See what I mean, how long it is? Isn't that gorgeous? I can hardly wait. So there will be later on, I don't know, a week or so, a repotting video. Now this is the Philodendron White Princess. See the roots there? Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. This is the one that has the leaf growing out of it right here. That Philodendron White Princess. The other ones I have kind of doubled up. I have the Monstera variegated Adansonii. Its roots here, and then the Anthurium uh, silver bush. Look how beautiful that leaf is. And look at these roots of the Adansonii and the silver bush. So they're getting to know each other there. And then I had the two philodendrons here, the Painted Lady and the Ring of Fire. There roots there. Okay, come on, focus. Okay. I think I may have a little too much water in here. I'm going to take some out because I don't want it to get soggy. But I will leave these. Uh, in the water for probably about a week so the roots can um, get re-moisturized, revived, and the leaves can acclimate to the Florida humidity also, which I hope it likes, similar to Indonesia. Um, and then in about a week or so, I will repot them in some nice airy aeroid mix, which I need to make some more of because um, I don't think I have enough for all of these. But, um, so there you have it, friends. Uh, I have a link down below to Green Spaces. They are always having some type of sale, usually some type of BOGO sale. And, um, you know, buy one, get one half price or one free, something like that. They usually have some that are on sale, so make sure you check them out. The, phytos, the phytosanitary certificate is $25 plus now the import tax for DHL the United States is also $25 so make sure you take that into account also but the plants themselves are super healthy they look super healthy it took about three weeks for me to get them from the time I told them which ones I wanted they go through this process of um, checking them, um, you know, making sure they have no bugs and uh, doing all of that pest control maintenance and everything and, and checking again and certifying them basically. And then it took, uh, let's see, today is Monday. It took a, a six days, six, almost seven days for them to get here um, by the time I got the notification from DHL that they were shipping. 
So, I mean, from Indonesia to <laughs> Central Florida, that's pretty darn fast, I think. But they arrived in really good condition, um, no wilting, and um, you know, the couple of little yellow leaves that they had on them, I went ahead and took them off because those were down below. I could tell that those were old leaves, nothing saying that the plant was sick or anything like that. They definitely don't have any bugs on them, um, so that's good. And I'm looking forward, I think I'm gonna have Oh, please. I think I'm going to have good success with these this time, okay? So stay tuned for the repotting video coming up fairly soon. If you enjoyed this video, friends, please do give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel so much. And let me know down below which one of these plants you enjoyed, which one is maybe on your wish list, you know? And <laughs> which one do you think you may order? Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss uh, any of my videos repotting or anything like that. Thanks so much, friends. I appreciate your spending time with me today. Oh, and you probably noticed I cut my hair. And I will let you in on a secret if you stay this long in the video. I cut my own hair. You know what? You can learn anything through YouTube. <laughs> my hair was getting long. It was just a pain. And, you know, I really miss the wash and go short haircut. So one day I was here by myself and just, just cut it. And I had like a razor, you know, that we use to cut men's hair. And I just kind of did that. And, you know, the kids got home from work and they're like, mom, what did you do? But I love it. And I saved myself, you know, probably 30, 40 bucks from getting a haircut. So there's your little secret if you stayed this long in the video. Thanks so much, friends. I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.